Hello everyone and welcome back to the vlog. We have a very special edition of New England Graveyard. Uh, today we are in St. Bridget Cemetery in Cornwall Bridge, Connecticut and we are here visiting with the woman who married the man and worked together to put us on the rainbow connection, Miss Jane Henson. She was born and raised in uh, St. Albans, Queens, where she met Jim Henson when she was a senior and he a freshman at the University of Maryland of College Park. They worked together on the live 1950s TV show Sam and Friends, where Jane collaborated with Jim per in performing, the, performing Muppets and devising several of the show's technical innovations, including the use of television monitors to watch their performances in real time. When in the late 50s, Jim took a year off from Sam and Friends to travel in Europe, Jane ran the show with the help of a classmate. Uh, when she quit full-time puppeteering in the 1960s to raise their children, Jim hired Jerry Jewell and Frank Oz to replace her. She helped the newly hired Frank Oz to learn how to lip sync and to continue to perform non-speaking Muffets on Sesame Street from time to time through at least the 80s. She was also responsible for the hiring of puppeteer Steve Whitmer who would later take over performing Kermit and Ernie on Sesame Street after Jim died, after he gave her an impromptu addition at Atlanta, Georgia Airport Restaurant. In 1990, the Henson Company went into agreement with Disney to present a live stage show, Here Comes the Muppets, at Disney MGM Studio. Jane was the main developer of, in the training of the performers and profile creation for the walk-around versions of the Muppets. She was able to share the Henson spirit of 10 characters that joined Disney at the time. Kermit the Frog, Miss Piggy, Fozzie Bear, Gonzo the Great, Bean Bunny, and the Electric Mayhem Band. I mean, let's face it. Young or old, she had, a high, she had some kind of a hand in your uh, uh, childhood. So, she's uh, here in this uh, church graveyard, first row. So let's uh, give you a look around. Now, unfortunately, uh, Jim was uh, cremated and scattered, so there is no final resting place for Jim at this time but really here's the mother here's Kermit's mother Fozzie's mother and I don't know about you but I love the Muppets if you love the Muppets give me a give me a thumbs up and down in the comments uh, let me know which, which Muppet is your favorite mine is like obviously Kermit and Fozzie are, are my two favorites so I want to thank you for joining me in this uh, special edition of New England Graveyard. I uh, hope you liked it. Uh, if you do, if, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe for more. And I will see you all on the next video. Bye.